Hi friends, it's time for my favorite part of the day. It's story time. Let's sing our song together. Oh, I want to read with somebody. I want to read a book with somebody. With somebody who loves me. Before we read our story, let's do a body check. You should be controlling your body so that you can stay safe and grow your brains. That means you're sitting on your bottom with your hands and feet to myself. Make sure you all turn on your listening ears. Okay, who can tell me what's written on the front cover of every book that tells us the name of the story? It's the title. The title is the name. The title is the name. Every book has a name. The title is the name. What else is written on the front cover? How about the name of the person who writes the words? Who writes the words? It's the author. Author writes the words. And there's one more person's name written on the front cover. It's the name of the illustrator. What does the illustrator do? Draws the pictures. Illustrator draws the pictures. So friends, that's all the important information that's written on the front cover. Inside the book, there are pages, and on the pages there are words, and there are pictures. I can tell that these are words because words are made out of letters. Okay, here we go. The title of this story is Duck, Duck, Dinosaur. The author is Callie George, and the illustrator is Oriel Vidal. Mama Duck's eggs hadn't hatched yet, but already she felt like the luckiest duck in the pond. Soon she would have a big, happy family. At last, one egg began to wiggle. It wiggled and wobbled, and then... a very fluffy duckling with a quack, quack and a kiss. Mama named her Feather. Then wiggle, wobble, crack! Out hatched another duckling flapping his wings with a quack, quack and a kiss. Mama named him Flap. Look how big you both are, she said. I am big, said Feather. I'm full of bigness. I'm big too, I'm big too, said Flap. Feather fluffed herself up, but I am bigger, she said. Now, now, said Mama. But the ducklings kept arguing. Friends, can you say argue? Let's clap that word, ready? Argue. Count it, argue. Argue has two words, to argue means to fight. The ducklings are fighting. They didn't notice that the last egg was rocking slowly, back and forth, back and forth. The egg is wobbling and rocking. What's going to happen? Big. And he was. Is that another duck that came out of that egg? No, what is that? It's a dinosaur. With a quack, quack, and a kiss, Mama named him Spike. Spike smiled at his sister and brother. Oh, what a sweet family, said Mama. I am sweet, said Feather, giving Mama a flower. I have oodles of sweetness. I'm sweet too, I'm sweet too, said Flap. He handed Mama a whole bouquet. But I am sweeter, said Feather. Sweet! Mama giggled. Oh, what a funny family. 
I am funny, said Feather. I am bursting with funniness. She made a funny face. Friends, can you show me a funny face? She did a little dance. Can you do a little dance? She dove into the pond. Splash! I'm funny too, I'm funny too, cried Flap. But I am funnier, said Feather. And the ducklings kept arguing. Funny! Whoosh! I'm cold, said Feather. I am shaking with coldness. I'm cold too, I'm cold too, said Feather. And the dinosaur says, Oh, that won't do, said Mama. Who wants to cuddle? With a quack, quack, and three kisses, they cuddled together. Under Mama's wings, no one was bigger or sweeter or funnier or better. They were all the best, the best family. Happy! And they were. The end. If you liked my book, clap once. If you liked my book, clap twice. Three, two, one. That book was fun.